모닝 파워 모닝 터보 Welcome back guys That was a pretty quick break And we're about to jump into the second series of the night I hope it's a bit cleaner than that first one Another ZVP, it's going to be Solar over here versus Patience Solar the big favorite in this uh, series Obviously an incredible ZVP player Starting from Pro League when he was on Samsung He did really really well uh, in this matchup specifically, he was you know, basically called the uh, Protoss Sniper. He had a rough period after that, but he's since really recovered, and it's still his best matchup. And uh, keep in mind that he is the defending SSL champion, one of two Splice representatives in this mm -hmm. tournament. I wish they showed actually what the achievements represent. It didn't just show the names, because I can only remember so much information, Wolf. <laughs> uh, I think. The halfway there one is the first one in the series. The yes. wanted one is winning three in a row, but I don't know what the, it's only awkward at first one. I think maybe that's the ceremony after a game one, and actually I did just get the uh, the information that that was what it is. Yep, so patience here, having this uh, SSL armor, like I call it, because he always does so well in this tournament specifically, better than he does in any other individual league. And uh, he's been on four teams for a long time. Dead Pixels specifically, who he is representing in this tournament. He used to be the teammate of Fantasy. And he was represented by Dead Pixels, currently yep. in the military though. I, and I think that whose next achievement is you've killed one of every race. Not 100% sure about that one. Well, but. let's take a look at these maps, Valdez. We'll see if we're gonna see the triple two player. It looks like it is. Overgrowth, Abyssal Reef, and Newkirk Precinct. Yeah, these guys are really on the same page when it comes to picking their maps. SOS and Dark were exactly the same. These two guys picked three of the same, just different orders. But guys, we're going to jump into game number one, Solar versus Patience. Solar, Kang Liu Su. Patience, Zhu Jihyun. Better fly, Jin Air. Thanks, Jin Air. Down here on the bottom left, the purple Zerg player. It is Splice's Solar. And his opponent to the top right in yellow is Dead Pixel's Patience. Starcraft from Australia. P.S. Hi, Nathan. I wonder if he's talking about Nathanius. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe he was watching Austin, WCS Austin, and wanted to say hi. Can't be in two places at once. Yeah, well, he made the right choice. <laughs> Came to Korea. I've actually never been to uh, to Texas. Neither have I. The home actually. of Reed Rapid me Casting Melton. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. I I've been to Atlanta, Georgia, with yep. you, actually. Um, have not been to Kansas, which is where Tasteless is from, but uh, I have been to New Hampshire, which is where Artosis is from. So I, I have two other places to go, just Texas been, and Kansas. I've never been to Australia, though, so... Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Maybe we could add that to our bucket list. Sure. I'd love to go someday to dance with the kangaroos. That's what they maybe, do down there, I think. Maybe I. That's what we heard from Moonglade, at least. Maybe That's I would. That's the impression I got, at least. I would love to meet Nathan. <laughs> if I ever, if I ever go, maybe he could show me around. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta talk to that fan. I'm sure he'll hook you up. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There was actually a Reddit post I saw one time with two guys with the exact same name, and they actually met up and hung out. They played like drinking games together and had a good night on the town. I don't know. It was pretty cool. <laughs> that's you know, that's that's the end of that story. <laughs> like they found cool each story. other on Facebook, and they they did that. Haven't yeah. met anyone else with the name Brendan Valdez, although there well, was. He, uh, he his girlfriend has no idea what's going on. For the swarm, O gaming people. Yeah, I love O gaming. I don't understand French, but I still enjoy their content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know uh, Coca's out here studying. 
Yeah. And uh, Funko, super cool guy. I've met, uh, those are actually the only two guys I've met from Bogamini, I think. Uh, Pomp and Tude. I spent a lot of time with them in Paris. Very stand up dudes. They're probably either doing it right now or will eventually be broadcasting this in French. I don't know if they have the audio on, maybe they'll know. Oh, we Whoa. gave a shout out. Fly better fly! Jin L. So I'm a big fan. Well, let's get back on topic here. Is as cool as this is to reminisce about how I've never been to Australia or Texas. Yeah. Um, super cool. This is a very serious game that we're casting here now. <laughs> it's going to be an Oracle opening from Patience. Adds the two gateways afterwards. And uh, the Oracle has not been scouted, obviously, as just shown yeah. here. So it's going to be a little bit sneaky, but he's got the safety spores. And if there's one player that will not be passive and not play like SOS played in our first series, it's probably Patience. This guy, he has the Hourglass logo because he's a timing player, timing-focused player, loves to punish the enemy player for being a little bit too greedy or getting out of position, stuff like that, or just attacking when he's strongest. So wouldn't be surprised to see him doing that here in this series. He um, almost got to a grand final off of an all-in <laughs> uh, with a timing attack. Failed it in his uh, seventh game of that series. Nearly a two-time finalist. He was actually very close in two seasons of SSL. Well, four kills on this Oracle. Gets there just before the extra spores. A little bit uh, greedy on the timing of those. Solar only getting the first one super early, getting the second ones later. Now he's got two Oracles so he can one-shot drones. We'll use these to defend his third base as well if there's an attack, which because Solar has already seen these Oracles, but likely will not. Front door is actually open. Could have just sprinted on in there, but decided against it. So the reason why Oracle openings are still so popular in uh, Legacy of the Void is just you can use them to harass, defend a third base, you can tag units. That's not what you use them for, but I mean, they could do it. Uh, <laughs> it's just a very versatile unit that as long as you don't mess up your micro, you will always have solid for the defense. Yeah, it's, it? it's also really good against what Zergs make early on, which is Lings and Banes. If you group up Oracles and Adepts versus Lings and Banes, well, you guys can easily predict who's going to win that fight. So it forces the Zerg into some other tech, like Hydras. We saw a lot of that from Dark in series number one tonight. It looks like Solar's going to go into the Banes first. So the Lair is almost done, so we can start the Hydrogen fairly soon, if that's what he's going to be doing. Just continuing to harass here as best as he can. Wants to stop a fourth base from going up, if that was what Solar had in mind. Unfortunately, he misses it. Uh, I think he just missed his timing window to burst this down, too, actually. No. It's not going to happen anymore. Can I find a window to harass it here, though? No spore in range of those right side drones. Tags on his way out. That's kind of a reflexive Protoss yeah. move. It's like, oh, I'm going to lose it. I might as well tag. <laughs> We've seen a lot of that today. Really good control with his oracles. He's getting, he's losing a lot of his HP and shields, but for the defense that Solar had set up with all the spores and the double queen at every expansion, hey, he's getting about as much damage as he could have done while still saving both oracles, so shout out to that. You know, there's a really fast infestation pick coming up here. I almost wonder if he's gonna like try to infester Baneling. Infesterling Baneling? Yeah, I mean that did finish. He's, he's got Baneling speed on the way. Yeah, he uh, isn't starting past new glands or anything like that. Yeah, no infestors or either. Or a hive, so not entirely sure what the plan is with that infestation pit, but if he's just trying to rush all... Swarm hosts. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, if he wants to rush ultras, that's interesting, but he's going to rush the swarm hosts out with this. And we'll see if that uh, flying lupus attack will get him a kill. He's probably going to go for the main Whoa. base. That's how you don't control it. He's yeah, like, ah, I now he didn't notice my warp present. Oh, wait. Oh, you did notice. <laughs> I cursed him. So sorry, patience. Well, uh, he definitely doesn't want these swarm hosts to be scouted. There's an observer here, actually, which is super huge. Swarm hosts are only really going to be good with that surprise factor. They even surprise commentators like you and I. You see them so rarely, uh, and it actually has an incredible success rate. Like, I, I only I can't remember a game where someone hit the swarm host and did like the Nexus snipe and lost. Like it's it's used like once in every two blue moons, <laughs> and it always works. Let's see where he sends them. It is going to be for the main base. It looks like over here to the right side, unscouted so far. 
Yeah, he's looking for them. And these Colossi, they're very immobile. And if the Locust actually can get on top of them, they can snipe him down really fast. But this is enough word being getting on top of them. But he wants to go for that main base, wants to get some damage done, and this, maybe even get that Nexus. This will be a Nexus snipe. There's nothing nearby. They can't actually save this. Phoenixes oh, can shoot at Locust in the air, but... <laughs> Look at this. It's going to be Goodbye, a snipe. Nexus. He, uh, it's exactly enough. In fact, perhaps even like one one swarm us too many. <laughs> it's exactly enough, and now he gets that for free. Uh, he could do this repeatedly, and he's built up this large army. He has the hype tech. That's the easy transition from this. Yeah, and he's gonna actually snipe this base as well. The plus two is about to finish. Doesn't even need it necessarily. Look at this army. I mean, he needs those Colossi to come over. Ooh, okay, you don't want to run your swarmos on him, but he denies the nexus. I think that actually wasn't even canceled. So takes that out. The Banelings were kind of wasted, but he's put on so much pressure. And this kind of Swarmos play, you know, the cooldown is so long to get those Locusts. But against a Protoss that's playing this passively and just getting these Colossi kind of like SOS did, I guess this is the, the new way to play this matchup in Korea, uh, the Swarmos seem to be pretty good if, if you're not going to be punished for them, if there's no timing coming from the Protoss. Uh, this time he's not going to get the next, I don't think. There's enough units here get some nearby. Damage done at least. It's gonna just go for probes. Yeah. Probes actually started wow. fighting them for some reason. Nine probes for free, basically. Yeah, for free units. Remember that unit, the swarm host. It's yeah. heart of the swarm, or yeah, heart of the swarm, heart of the swarm host. <laughs> so I'm sure no one's made that joke before. But First time I've heard of Wolf. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't make it before. That's why I yeah. thought it was funny. <laughs> and, well, we got ultra Ultras on the way. It, Patience is struggling to hold on to his bases here. He's going to try for the third time to take a fourth. And Solar, he's just had the free yellow brick road to just skip on down to this really nice ultraless tech. And there's not much that Patience has been able to do about it. Yellow brick road for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the purple creep road. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, this is a really dire situation for Patience. He lost so much from losing his main base, even though that was almost mined out. Still, a lot of hurt mining. Uh, struggling to hold on to this fourth. And now it's this army that has ultra attack, plus three armor. It's plus two attack as well. Or sorry, not plus three armor. The carapace armor coming up and the plus one armor will kind of make it plus three um, in terms of armor values. Taking the gold base, and Patience has a lot of Colossi to try to potentially poke this, but Vipers are coming out. He knows that they're going to be out soon. There's already one, so even trying to poke that base from behind is so risky. If he gets yanked, he is done for with these Colossi. And Patience kind of needs to make that big Immortal switch. It's not going to be easy to do, but if he could buy some more time, that's his best option. He's making it now two Immortals already on the way, but it's going to be his first two, and he realistically needs like six or more to be able to deal with these Ultralis reliably. Um, action off screen there on the Watchtower. But but Solar is is gearing up to make a gigantic attack. Look at how much stuff is over here. If he fights with the Locust, I think he's got a decent chance to come on in here, even with all those Colossi. Going to get on in on top of here. Those force fields are pretty good, but uh-oh, the Bailings from the right side, and the Ultra's getting a really good angle on the left. This is just way too much. The Blinding Cloud on this army as <laughs> well. Oh, Swarmos even getting involved here. Uh, that's going to be the end of the army and the end of this game. GG. GG. Solar. Dominant performance here in game number one. And the perfect record in Korea. Televised matches. Swarm hosts continue. Yeah, well, if there's one guy, if you're a Zerg player and you're trying to learn how to play against Protoss, download all of the Solar VODs. <laughs> Please just go ahead and do that right now because this guy, he's so well known for being good in this matchup. It's like watching Ryung in TBT, right? Yeah. Look at the way the, the difference between these two guys' faces. Patience looks like he just he got hit by a truck or eight swarm hosts. A bully took his lunch money. That's what I was thinking about. And that's essentially what it looked like because Solar wants to leave here with a 2-0 and take this nerd's extra hundred dollars that he might get if he wins an extra game in the series. I, I, I don't. I, the answer to Swarmos is easy. If you're looking at this game, going well, I can't. What could he even have done? The Locust come and he dies. Well, if you stop them from burrowing, you kill them and you get massively ahead. Just not knowing about them is the problem. So Snor Sora takes a big risk and it pays off. Yeah, so no, Overgrowth does a great map to do that yeah. too. All right, well, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into Abyssal Reef, guys, our second game. We're going to fly through this series. Fly! Better fly. Let's go to game number two.
Here we go. Abyssal Reed, game number two. Down here in the bottom right, the purple Zerg player from Splice. It is Solar. And up to the top left in yellow. It is Patience from Dead Pixels. Mm -hmm. Abyssal Reef, a much larger map than the last one. Could see Swarmos. Uh, I don't think we will, but <laughs> definitely uh, a map where probably going to see a longer game considering that Solar's not going to do that again and the map size. You might see Patience do a timing attack. This new Colossus style is pretty cool. I actually like it. it feels very familiar. It's back from the old days. And Colossus kind of disappeared from the meta mostly because of how strong Vipers are against them. But it seems like in theory, especially when you're kind of even in the game, they're so powerful with their AoE uh, before Vipers are out. But the players that we've seen today, both Patience and SOS, are unable to really use them to have a killing blow before the Vipers kind of just straight up counter them. It wasn't the Vipers that won the game for Solar last game. It was really just the big engage with his larger army, the economic advantage he had. But uh, we'll see if he goes for the Colossi again, if this is going to become a thing or if it's just really going to fade back away. Nexus is going to come up here. It's going to be Gate Nexus core build. So he will transition after that. We'll see if he goes Stargate again. We've got a lot of fan signs tonight. Saying that our announcer, Suhyun, is really pretty. I said something about Hyung Young too. Our former announcer, who has officially game traded. Game trader, trader. Trader. Just like you, at least you still do both though. <laughs> I'm just half a game trader. No. You LCK people. Yeah. The biggest game trader of all, by the way. I cheat on both games at, the, at currently at the same time. The biggest game trader of all is Kanata. <laughs> he's still here, I'm looking at him right now, but he said he would never, ever cast LCK. Now it's something else. So I guess he's not casting it technically. Yeah, he, he talks about it. I love to just make fun of him for that. I don't care, I, it's good to love all games for sure. I just, I love for him to be like, no, never. And yeah. I was doing it, His it's reaction so funny is to me. Funny. Because he, he was, he's definitely one of the, the super diehard StarCraft guys. You got a lot of those uh, over in Korea, and there there is a good reason, right? Kanata is in a pro league intro. <laughs> he was really good at StarCraft 1. He's a pro gamer. Yeah. And it's actually, I think, in multiple intros. I know one of my favorites, he's in it. But uh, we're going to see the Stargate build coming up here for Patience. And he's just going to go Oracles and probably use that same you know, Oracle to defend third base strategy. See if Solar has a different way to smash it this time. On this bigger map, he, like Dark, will go into the Overlord speed for extra scouting. Kind of a necessary evil. It was not really an evil. Necessary evil. Necessary. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to let it slide. The necessary tech <laughs> that requires money to be spent in order to uh, get, in, you know, enough information to proceed with the game. No, it's definitely a boon for Solar. Well, for actually, players. No, no, David Kim is evil. <laughs> Everything is evil. So, we got more drop drops. again, actually. Yeah, it's going to be with speed, though, so he can be a little bit more maneuvery with it. Definitely going to be very maneuvery. Let's see where he decides to drop them. Looks like it might be the natural here. Might just go around up top into the main. Try to go undetected here. Doesn't look like Patience has any idea about this just yet. The shark knows. Well, that's it. Just the shark and those little fishies up top. Ooh, this is some nice harassment. There's no spore crawler yet again. Solar cuts the corner and he's just going to ignore the queen and target down drones, getting so many. Solar will have to get about that many to. Oh, so close. Oh. That queen that pops out gets the last kill. Does That's actually these? really nice. But he's, he's actually getting more over here. He's going to get way too much damage over here. He's, there's does not he even a pull. Is he even realizing? It does, I don't think he knows. That entire mineral line is going to go down. Three. <laughs> GG. Okay. That's that's one way to put well, it. Patience. We are not going to game three. <laughs> that's for sure. Three. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he, oh. he kind of just... Uh, Okay, for good measure, 10 set wins in the SSL Premiere. As Solar joins, I think Bjol might be one of the only players to do that. Let me actually check. No, Bjol Innovation and now uh, Solar. I'm well, that out. game was nasty. I mean, he didn't pull his probes. One within like five that, minutes of game time. He was, I think he was just so startled by losing his Oracle, so frustrated. He was controlling that so well. 
and then didn't have an answer in his main base, didn't pull his probes. He could have eventually defended it, but Solar was also hitting the third base, he let out the natural, we didn't have a shot of where the other lings were. He attacked two locations at once while Patient was also dealing with the Oracle. And it's an uncharacteristic mistake of someone at this level, also has a pretty good record in SSL Premier so far, yeah. to just not pull his probes and, you know, it's, a, it's an old joke, but it's a good one. Starcraft is hard, and when you are d juggling a lot of things all at the same time, sometimes you will make a mistake like this, sometimes you it will... It ain't no joke, Wolf. Yeah, sometimes you'll forget <laughs> to control your probes and you're just looking at something else, and yeah. even though the minimap is blinking and it says your your probes are under attack, you're dealing with a million other things at once, so you kind of just zone out there for a minute. Yeah. That's that's what it, it really feels bad when you lose to a Zerg player like that. Me and you both Protoss players for a long time. When you just get overwhelmed by too much stuff, when you actually get swarmed out of the game by the Zerg, it's not a very good feeling, and I feel like that's the feeling that Patience was feeling. But anyway, enough about feelings. We're going to get to hear some straight hard facts here from Solar, who will be interviewed by Engine, I believe that is. Yep, it's Engine over there. And uh, I'm going to translate that for you guys. <laughs> So, he has gained his fifth win, and uh, says hello to the fans. He's actually, this is one of our biggest days. I don't think there's a single empty seat <laughs> yeah, there's in the crowd. Not really much. So, you had a 2-0 victory, but let's talk about the Swarm hosts. Why did you come up with this strategy specifically for game number one? So the, the practicing, well, while practicing for Pros, he's like, oh, Pros is tough, so what, am I, what was I going to do? So he just decides to almost with the way. He's been having trouble with Protoss in practice. And uh, just wanted to keep it a secret. Which he did, and then killed the Nexus, which is what we were talking about is the key. If you don't scout it, it will kill your Nexus. There isn't much counterplay there. So in the playoffs, who are you most concerned about? Who are you looking out for? Well, I got bopped by Bill 02 just last week, so that's the guy I'd be scared of. He said, I don't really want to... He said, it's very, very likely I make it into playoffs, but I don't really want to be thinking too far ahead of myself here as uh, he's not in playoffs yet, so he hasn't really given it much thought. So, in terms of the other players, he thinks Biel will take first place. And he's thinking he'll probably get top three uh, for himself. Heading into the playoffs. And a message to Biel. The SSL is my league, not yours. And I'll be stomping you all the way. I think he's still a little bit hurt after that 0-2 loss against Biel, and he wants that revenge. So a little bit of trash talk from Solar for this guy, Biel, who will be playing in our next series. That's right. Our next series will be Innovation versus Biel. So we're going to take another quick break. Before we get into it, see you guys in just a few minutes at the SSL premiere. <laughs> 